Hi, what's up my people? It's Wamboy, Jimmy and here we vibe with Wamboy. Thank you, thank you guys for subscribing to my channel and for showing me the love and the motivation. I'm doing this because of you guys. Many pay motivation. But now I have the potential because of you guys. When you may subscribe, thank you and thank you. Just hit that notification bell Dio, to see miss on any video. And those who have not subscribed, guys, welcome and welcome to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I love Usasa Leo. Learn a video kwanza and you are going to do a cook show. Na wapikia, na na wapikia kakuko, chicken curry. And I have my ingredients here. Sijikama, you are going to join me. <laughs> so, guys, I have chicken curry, chicken breast. Nili buy kafo at a very affordable uh, price. Inalingana na the quantity you want. I have the chicken breast. I also have some chopped onions. These are three chopped onions, I think so. And then I have tomato. What I've done, I have blended it because I want it to be smooth when I cook. I have cooking oil. I also have coconut cream. I love that coconut taste mahari. And then I have the main thing, cooking cream. In your killer kitu. And another main ingredient, the curry powder in your chicken curry. Guys, if you don't have this, hauna chicken curry. And also, I'll be using black pepper for that. Some uh, so taste. I love black pepper. And then I also have ginger and garlic. I grated them, so I'm going to use them. And I'll garnish at the end with some coriander. This is for garnishing. And with not wasting time, without wasting any time, we are going to cook. So guys, let's cook. So we cook. And as we cook, guys, we start with some cooking oil. And we are frying, of course. Eh? We start with some cooking oil and wait for it to heat up kidogo so that we may add our onions and as we wait for our oil to heat up so that we may put the onions you're going to know me better so juzi tu mliona video fulani nimeweka hapo facebook nilikuwa napiga darama my friend nimetoka far nimetoka mbali and i thank god i thank god I was raised, I was born and raised up in a small village called Motoma in Mangu. So, nilikuwa nalizuwa na my grandparents. Not because my mom was not alive. It is because my mom alikuwa na haso haso, you know. I'm a, my mom is a single mom. So, I was raised by my grandparents. And thank you so much, Penye Mko. You, you know, I treasure you. I was raised... There, Nikiwa around class three. Shosho, shosho, alikuwa wa i church. Dika, sijika mrejua, kakudi, kakudi kanini. <laughs> Nika fungwa kitamba. And Nika kana yo kitamba. Nika kana yo adi form two. So, you get kwenye nilitoa yo, kupigadarama nilikuwa na kitamba, nilikuwa na mefunga kitamba, nikiwa mdogo, adi form two. So, me growing up, so our oil has heated up as we continue with our story. Our oil it may heat up. So we add our onions, our chopped onions, and wait for them until they are golden brown in color. So as we wait, we continue with my story. So, nika raisiwa, nikiwa na kitamba. Niki grow up, nilikuwa this kind of a girl. Unajua, ile time una feeling you want to fit in another class, eh? Because nilikuwa na sumia academy. Unajua, maiguka alikuwa na pesa kidogo, eh? So, nilikuwa na sumia academy, a private school that by then. Nikiwa nursery school, class 1, class 2, class 3, and class 4. So, 
ikafika place we had to be transferred to Kabere for a public school ilikuwa na Tomotoma primary school so venye tulipeleka i was this small girl na tulikuwa tumeriz watu kwa wili na Maureen my cousin Maureen another one boy so we were to transfer you sisi wote wa wili so sisi tumezoea ile maisha ya kubeba food na lunch box yenye ni hot eh? ina, ina, ina keep food hot so tukienda huku tunapata wase he wanabanga chakula baridi <laughs> na wanakuja vile hata viatu so tuka feel we are out of order eh? as in ile out of place you want to fit in this class sasa ya wase wa public sasa sisi tuko tunavaishwa viatu <laughs> Tukitokea kwa barabara tunatoa viatu, tunaficha, afu tunaenda shule mgutupu. Alafu tukaacha kwanza kubeba food. Cuz mimi nilikuwa na, na beba food aki tukitoka tu lunch. Na feel kila mtu ako zile za ananiangalia ile style nyingine una feel by the way I feel the odd one out like I'm totally odd out. Odd one out. So tukaanza ku blend in, ku blend in mpaka ikafika place nikamwambia shosho eh mimi nataka ile ka kadish ka kubeba food yenye si lazima ikuwe moto tukakuja kama tume blending hadi tuka blending kabisa haungejua but that is because hakuna mtu anataka nga kufeel ile ya mimi niko so nje niko nje kabisa 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 so we blended in lakini mimi nilirudia class 4 morina kaenda class 5 because i was this a small girl nikaambwa mimi sizienda class 5 nasikia tumetoka academy tulikuwa tumeenda mpaka class 4 so nikaambiwa you are very young a short girl so u urudia class 4 i felt so bad but i had no option so i grew nika nikasomea huko hadi nikamaliza class 8 2012 at motoma primary school so results za class 8 zikatoka we sema kutetemeka hiyo place ni yenye una feeling hiyo time una feeling ni kama nchi tu ipasuke ikumeze because my grandpa was this kind of a man mwenye ukikuja namba 2 anakwambia wewe wa kwanza alikuwa na kushinda ukifanya ukikuja namba 1 na sasa tuseme uko na 430 anakwambia si max ni 500 hizo zingine 70 zimeenda ama 80 zimeenda alikuwa anataka ushike kila kitu sasa KCSE imetoka wase nilipata 258 ah sema kushindwa nda home wapi <laughs> lakini niliitwa high school flani ilikuwa inaitwa njahi njahi girls njahi girls <laughs> so nikaitwa njahi girls high school i think ilikuwa mixed but ilikuwa boarding so mimi nilikuwa kutoka mapema sikuwa napenda boarding school nikaambia guka mimi yake mimi sitaki kwenda boarding school nikaenda day school wapi motoma so <laughs> <laughs> nilitoka Motoma Primary School nikaingia Motoma Secondary School. He hapo nikaingia form 1 bado mimi nikalaka sasa na kitamba kazuri ka Yesu lakini hata sasa ni wa Yesu but I'm saying by then nilikuwa tu the most cleanest girl you know the most clean girl nini so venye niliingia form 1 kufanya exam ya kwanza. Exam ya kwanza manze ushaistuka ila you were worried mumeja hivi mko na stream tatu wewe umezoea primary school mnakuanga stream mbili na wewe unakujanga number 1 2 3 sasa umeingia high school hujui venye kutaenda unaingia ume, umeingia na wase from different schools wengine wamepata marks kubwa but they didn't have money to take them to big schools some schools zenye walikuwa waitwa we ushaitense umefanya exam unashindwa kai nitakuja namba he sasa mimi exam ya kwanza kutoka guess nilikuja na mangapi namba sita. Sita na nilipata B+ si kuamini kutoka hapo i swear motivation yangu haikuwa ienda chini nikaanza kusoma nilikuwa form 1 nilikuwa nasoma vitu za form 2 nilikuwa form 2 nasoma vitu za form 3 so nilikuwa kale kamsii na ikachopi wewe nilikuwa chopi sasa tata tata nikimaliza high school nilikuwa nilikuwa assistant head girl nikakuja nikakuwa academic prefect nilikuwa academic prefect and then side ya CU pia nilikuwa prayer coordinator wase sijanza hii nini ya church leo nilikuwa prayer coordinator shule bado kitungu yetu inaiva so we are waiting for it iive kidogo imebakia tu kidogo 
So I was the prayer coordinator. Mimi ndo nilikuwa na coordinate prayers day. Kila kitu ya CU nilikuwa wa CU. And then nilikuwa prison worship leader. So tukiwa high school. Unajua high school. Nikiwa form 2. That term ndo nilitoa anga kitamba. Na wambi anga. Mnasema mnambu anga form 2 inakuanga na maashita nitu zake. Mnakata. Mimi after nimefika form 2. Even after nimemaliza form 2 nikienda form 3. Iyo December. Nirirudi shule bila kitamba. So, and people were like, what, Silvana, what has happened and everything? But now, my mom came back to my grandpa's home. Eh? And my mom was this kind of a mom. When she was going to go to the house, but then she said, mom, she was going to go to the house. So, she said, hey, I'm going to go to the house. She 18 years, she was this idea kama ata ataendelea kufunga kita ata funga kitambao so, but as for now mtoto wangu wacha aishi venye mimi uishi so mimi kutoka hapo nikaenda kadho na guka cuz guka hakuanga wa hiyo church guka akafurahi alikuwa na anataka tu ni, ni tuende kadho na yeye alifurahi so nikaanza kwenda kadho though i didn't go for a long time then i i went to another church inaitwa church of uh, good shepherd so inaitwa CGS. So nikaanza kwenda CGS from there until nikatoka Ushago nikikuja na Robi. That's why I used to fellowship. And our church was very nice to look at tunaenda missions. Wase kama ujawahi sikia missions, mko mme fast. You know nothing. Mimi nime serve God wacha tu nikwambie. Now let me let me tell you guys. Serving God is never in vain. Because kama see si your foundation yenye nimelelewa nayo, I don't think I'll be this, the same same girl I am right now. So if you see your parents taking you to church and everything, just appreciate that. Because it will one day come to help you. Ita kuja kukusaidia one day. Kwa kukuja hii Nairobi, hii Nairobi nisha wa mawe. Shamba ya mawe. Acha ni kwa mbe Nairobi, si mchezo. So awa kitungu imekua golden brown. Tunaeka ginger and garlic pamoja. And we wait for it kuiva kidogo as we continue with our story. So after form 4 guys, uh, nilitoka nikiwa academic prefect and uh, prayer coordinator. After form 4, nika, nika tafta job. Nika pata job at a certain M-Pesa. Nika fanya job M-Pesa. Nilikuwa na lipo 5k per month. So nika fanya hiyo job M-Pesa and then nika pata M-Pesa ingine just up or next. Nika, nika toka hapo, nika andikuwa M-Pesa fulani sasa hapo na na yon nilika ungezewa a certain amount. Nilikuwa nalipua 8,000. 8,000. After that, sunajua wase, ukifanya tu M-Pesa, anajua tu, kuna tu experience tu tuingine mtu, upata tule tuwa kukoniwa pesa and everything. So, nika koniwa. He, my friend, bosu wangu haku ataa kusikiyo mambo. Guys, after nini meiva, tuneka our blended uh, 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 tomato to me blend tomato so tunaiweka ndio we continue with our story so nikakoniwa hiyo story ya kukoniwa i swear hata mtu ajuange amekoniwa aje you know you guys mnajua experiences that za kukoniwa <laughs> nikakoniwa boss wangu hakuwa nataka kusikia hivyo Mimi, boss, haka nipeleka kwa kara kamuangi po police station. Nika pelekwa. Guys, believe you me. Nililala ndani. <laughs> Siku. Nililala ndani. Because now, vitu zingine hata unanga evidence. I swear, aki awa sewa kukon. Huwezi toa evidence. So, mi nililala ndani. Iyo siku, kai nilikuwa nasikia kama inchi imefika mwisho. Nika mungu wa Nairobi. Nika lala ndani. So, the following day, nika toka. Wacha ni wambia the moment nilitoka kwa hiyo cell. Eh? Siku wai ka ushagote na actually nilenda ni current place ni ito goigua. So ni kanza na kamatres ata sikuwa na meko. Iyo siku nililala na lilala chini matres peke yake ata blanketi siku wanayo. So ni kasema mimi sizika home tena. Ni kasema liwe liwalo. I will do my best. Nika enda goigwa. Nika tafuta kanyumba, nika pata ground floor. Kale kanyumba. Unuwa kale kanyumba, kana kuwanga kabaridi. Yani ya chini kabisa. Nika, nika nini? Nika rent huko. 
saa nilikuwa na lalia mattress na mimi lalia mattress tupo hivyo uh, ikiwa chini for for a while like two months eh. so after that nikapata best yangu mwingine akaniconnect na job nikaandikwa job ya skuza simu at a certain shop vika so nilikuwa natoka goingo every morning naenda thika na narudi home hiyo ndo job ya tatu ya tatu so hapo ndipo nilianza kujijengea kidogo kidogo nikanunua ka stove hata sikununua meko nikanunua ka stove nikaanza kupika na stove kidogo kidogo nikanunua bed nikaanza kununua tu vitu tu vitu at least hapo nilikuwa nalipwa 12k so 12k uh, fare ilikuwa i think 30 bob after nimefanya job hapo thika for like i think ilikuwa 7 months hawa wasi unajua nilikuwa nauza simu but sasa nilikuwa nimeandikwa na mwenye shop So hawa wasi wenye wanakuanga wa kampuni fulani kama supervisor ni kuka kuja jamaa fulani wa kampuni ya Infinix. So akaniambia by the way nimeona ukiuza phones vizuri I wouldn't mind wewe kukuja ku try interview tuko na intake ya kampuni ya Infinix. Kutoka hapo nikaenda interview. Pale ya RNG. Ninajua na Robi. Sijaenda na Robi but that day nilikuwa nimeamua aki mimi kama sendi kui e kampuni. He, sisi fanya job tena hapo. Cuz nilikuwa nime feel I, I need kutoka Goigwa. Nilikuwa na feel nataka kutoka hiyo place yenye nilikuwa naishi. Na the only way ningetoka hapo ni if I worked somewhere far or something. He. Guys, nilikuwa nimejidanganya natoka Goigwa. Nilipewa job Infinix, nikapita interview, nikabesiwa TRM. Nika nikaanza kufanya kazi TRM. Do you know nilitoka Goigwa hadi TRM for two good months. Nikitoka Goigwa all the way from Goigwa na TRM. Na kuna sometimes tulikuwa tunaenda meetings tao. So nilikuwa nataka Goigwa I think around 5 ndio nifike tao at um, ndio nifike tao at around up or 7 something cause meetings zilikuwa map- zilikuwa za mapema ndio narudi job shop kwa shop mapema. So uko umeandikwa na kampuni unakuwa umebesiwa at a persons shop. So umeandikwa na Infinix, so unaenda kama hapo, ni kama wewe ni brand ambassador, wewe ni sales person wa phone ya Infinix. So mimi nilikuwa nimebesiwa TRM, eh nikaona manzi, hii fair ni kama ndiyo nafanyia job. So nika nikaamua tu kuhamia, nikahama TRM Drive. So nikaanza kuishi TRM Drive. Nikatoka nyumba ya 5K wase. Nikaanza kuishi nyumba ya 16700. Wewe nilikuwa nasikia aje one bedroom na nilikuwa na kwa bed sitter nilikuwa na film Aisha he hadi niliorganize party ya wazee wa home wakuje kuona kwenye naishi <laughs> so manze e life haijakuwa that soft on me but i thank god haijakuwa that hard pia so nikafanya job anisuma nikafanya job anisuma infinix and everything so one day nikaamua tu nime nimechoka but pia kuna venye tu watu kusikizana na boss. So mimi nikasema nikabesiwa ati niende ronga. Na ndio nime nimehamia TRM. Nikamwambia ai wasi mimi siwezi. Siwezi hamia ronga. Nikamwambia I quit. Nika quit. After nime quit two days after that nime quit wase ndio sasa kuanguka kwa church kujoin in. <laughs> Nikaanguka church nikaanza kufunywa bombe wase ni karev. So hii kurev imeanza after nimeshikana na company. Ilikuwa juu ya company ya wase. So mi nikaanguka church, nikaanza nga kurev. I saw nilikunywa pombe hiyo time. Na the last time nilikunywa pombe ilifika nga two place nilikunywa JD hiyo siku. I saw nilike hiyo. Nikalala siku tatu. <laughs> siku tatu that is remember nimefutwa job ile ya Infinix cause nilika siku nne before nipate the, the next job so nikakunywa JD nika KO okay yo ni ile ujiski nikapata hangover siku tatu nikimaliza hiyo time nikasema mimi na pombe tena hey it's a no go zone nikaacha kunywa pombe but sasa sikuacha kunywa pombe ile serious i used to take wine cocktails and everything cause i used to drink ile ya tumepata na weekend na mse ama beshti yangu ema tunapata na naye cause ile za 
Wacha tukunye tuka wine and everything. So I was not that of a drunkard. Nikamwa. Guys. To make a chicken curry. So that we continue with our video. Our story. That is chicken curry. Ni make a kidogo. We shall put another one at the end of it. Lakini tukua karibu kumaliza. Don't take a chicken curry. So even like... 30 seconds kidogo tu and then tuweke our chicken breast and the reason as to why ni me choose chicken breast ya broira it's because a uh, kenyeji would take a longer time and anyway chicken curry upikwa na chicken breast eh huwezi pata chicken breast ya nini peke yake ya kienyeji ati upate kuna chicken breast ya kienyeji so we put our chicken breast and then we stir and wait for it to cook for like uh, five minutes and then we add some water to funike kidogo ilive but what jayeka our creams and everything we are going to put at the end of it all because to kieka sai itaisha taste na rather kidogo so tunangoja ishike kidogo kidogo ishike at least eh ilive kidogo so we add some water ndio tufunike ive kidogo ive at least ive ile style yenye at least tunaweza kula but we are still on the process so we start kidogo ive na tufunike so guys i'm using a pressure cooker you can also use your mekol your cooking Uneza tumia anything kupika nayo. The reason as to why na tumia pressure cooker, I want it kuiva haraka. And because it's, I'm going somewhere. So, nataka hivi haraka. So guys, after ni meke yo for three days. Nika sema sita kunyua tena. Nika anza kunyua wine and everything. Because my friend came through for me. She is Emma. She came through for me. And after I may come through for me, she's not this kind of a girl when you're not going to that much. So, till you go to Nenda Naya to knock your wine, to Nanini, Sani Kakujaka, you may reduce alcohol intake. Eo, Kupunya Pombe and everything. Ilikwa to Ile, company, una feel, you want to feel, when you want to una feel, and then Kushitiarem drive pia, Sim Cheso, Kuna Vitu to Isia Puka. But I just thank God that took potea sana, sick potea sana, and nika kujagama ni meacha pombe. But sick wacha completely. Tuka tunafunya tu kidogo kidogo kidogo. Nika pata job sasa TRM, nika ndikuwa na a person sasa kwa shop yake. So sikuwa ni meandikuwa na anyone. Nika ndikuwa kwa shop yake, nika fanya for like I think one year and a half. Nika kaa wewe. Nikaka and then nikafika place, nikabidi nita after job place nijine. Nika ndikuwa, badu kwa phone, nimekuwa kwa phone industry since nilitoka, nilishingo igwa. Ila job ya zika, unakumbuka ilikuwa ya simu, nika ndikuwa Infinix, nikabisi wa TRM badu, and then after nimepata job TRM yu ingine, badu ilikuwa ya simu. And then, nika ndikuwa kwa another company, we were introducing a new company, ilikuwa inaituwa Realme. Masa, ndo nika ndikuwa real me, mzee nika chapa job. Mina mini nilikuwa na chapa job, nika mani yangu, nilikuwa tu na jitolea. Sababu nilikuwa na jua, hey, ina robi, sina babangu, sina mamangu, kwa na robi, nyumba ni una ripa. So, like, ilikuwa tu ina bidi tu, na, 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 na tia bidi yangu mwenyewe. So, nilikuwa na chapa job, tuka introduce your company into the market. It was not easy. Usha introduce company mpia kwa market. It regardless kama ni a simul, anything. Something new ku introduce kwa market, it's hard. So, ikafika place, company ikashika, ikashika. I love you. GV. Aka come into the picture. Mungu na yehu come at the right time. Anasemanga yehu hachelewi na hafiki mabemba. So, I just waited on him. Now nah, I work miracles on me. Now I don't even take alcohol. Now it's not because of my current situation. I'm a master now and everything. But because I got saved again. And I love Jesus. I love Jesus. And it's so I'm, I'm feeling so peaceful. There's a peace, peaceful 
environment that happens ukiokoka so when you're saved you 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 just feel happy no more straining there is nothing in your inner feel feel ni kama you you owe someone an explanation and everything kujificha mingi hakuna kwa mungu tu kuna raha guys so let's meet again for my story from meeting jimmy and tuna continue kupika nyama yetu i'm sure tuko almost kumaliza tumebakisha kuweka cooking cream na chumvi and coconut cream na tuko almost kumaliza guys let's continue cooking imebakisha imebakisha dakika tu kidogo na wenye tume subscribe please finya hapo ka notification bell ndio nikipost you get notified when you are to subscribe guys please subscribe and those people have subscribed tell a friend to tell a friend ndio ama aje to subscribe so that you may not miss on my content guys i think dini yangu imeiva na sasa sababu imeiva My chicken breast is ready. So, at this point, we are going to add our cooking cream. Ino inafanya nga mambo yote, inafanya at least your chicken curry to taste better. My my chicken breast was a bit more so I ni make yote inalingana na to your taste. So ni make yote and then at this point pia tuta add some cooking cream. Then I'll add my curry powder. Kumbuka tuka tumeka kidogo. We need it to taste kidogo. And then sikuwa ni make black pepper. Nikia ka earlier na feeling haija taste. So to add our black pepper kidogo tu. Ndiyo, at least ikuwe na ako ka ukali. I love ikiwa kali kidogo. Hatuna mtoto anakula. But kama kuna mtoto anakula, I wouldn't advise kweka black pepper. So, we stir kidogo. And then, because I also love the coconut cream kidogo. So I'm going to add my coconut cream. So I napenda your taste ya coconut. Let me pick a spoon. Napenda your taste ya coconut. So nitaka tu kidogo, si mingi kidogo tu. So that I get that taste. Just a little one. Kuna watu wenye hawa opt kuweka hii, but mimi I love I love the coconut cream test the coconut test so we stir and let it cook for a bit like 5 minutes ivo kidogo because nyama yangu ishaiva so i want it to cream na pia nitaongeza kachumbi si ku add before because nilikuwa niweke coconut cream nilikuwa niweke cooking cream so nilikuwa nataka kuweka ikuwa ya mwisho ndio i i taste and feel whether it's okay aki inanukia vizuri oh my goodness i wish me i feel hapo and then i'm cooking with my rice mchele wangu i think Imeiva. My rice is cooked. Mchele wangu imeiva. I'm serving it with rice. Pia unaweza kula na chapo, but sana sana hii utaka mchele. Hii utaka mchele, but unaweza kula na chapo. It's a nice one. And then when we finish, remember to na garnish na 
our coriander. So, tunangoja iyo cream at least ikue thika. Iki boil boil kidogo, itakuwa thika. And then, our meal will be done. I hope you guys, I just wish mge kwa tu hapa, ni waonje shetu kidogo kidogo. I know most of you mna semanga, oh, uyo kai kupika, oh, ni wakuoda, KFC. By the way, kuna picha, Jimmy alipostingi, uh, kauliza na kaa kukua na pika nini. Guys, mka sema uyo hata kai kupika, uyu ni wakuoda KFC, uyu akona house help. Guys, I cook for my man. Nakitaka kujua na pika, please subscribe kwa YouTube channel yangu. Tako unawana nikipika tu vitu tuingi. Just subscribe. Na wenye atuja subscribe. Watch out to subscribe. Na wenye pia wame subscribe. Kona iyo notification bell hapo chini. They will see miss any of the video. Lakini guys, we have a lot, lot of content. Not only cooking, I'll be doing content in general. So, tuwa tuna travel, tuna shoot videos za ku travel. Guys, Si lazima ikuwe ati ni malindi, tumenda na ivasha, and if, I shall take you to the lowest point. Enye pia wewe, utafeel, you know, ah, hapa naiza enda anytime. You know, Mombasa, you have to, to plan, eh? Ile, ile place enye unajua, ah, hata nikika ajioni, nitapitia tu hapo. Places to poor, local, any place, eh? And then, tutafanya weight loss. Sisa hao. Tunafanya weight loss. Unawana ni miongeza after kupata baby. Baby fat. Tutafanya weight loss. And then pia kitacheza games. Tuende na nyinyi. Tawapeleka places. Tunacheza games. Najua hamta. Hamta boyeka na hii channel yangu. Guys. Hit that subscription button. Na hiyo notification bell. Na pia. Unaweza like. Ucomment. Ushare. I know guys. Let's grow together. So guys, our meal is ready. I want to just switch off here and our meal is ready. Ready, ready, ready. I got to eat toy. Dio. We put it on the side. We will Okay, now you are to enjoy. This is his favorite. Guys, I know you will want to taste this. Guys, we are ready. So I'm going to transfer this to a serving bowl. Nyo niita jimi ya kujia testa niambie, eh, kama nimepika vizuri, ama nimeanguka. But najua nimeunderstand assignment. Ibe the java, tunalipanga expensive java, unaitua chicken curry. It's one of my favorite dish, but pia napenda githiri. Aki mi napenda githiri, guy. But I just love that meal. So, mneza suggest mnataka nipike nini? Any other time yenye nitafanya cook show. So, just comment. Comment hapo. Ama maybe u comment recipe yako. Pia venyo unapikanga chicken curry. Maybe, mneza lane. Pia wewe ume... Wanya wame learn kuangu, pia wa learn kuingine. And we know. Acha mshike na hii wasi. I think we are done. We are done, we are done. So, 
Here I'm going to garnish na dania. Hizi nimebaitu hapa kwa kibandaski. Hapa tu kwa kibandaski. Wow. Inaka vizuri. Guys, we are ready. The meal is ready. Sasa so, I'll serve him and then ni muite akuje a test. A test aniambie kama it's okay. So I'm going to serve him najua he ata enjoy. Ata enjoy. He's going to enjoy. Acha ni msave tu kidogo. Yeah yeah, hakulangi carbs sana. So If you feel your recipe imekubamba pinya tu wako ka subscription button ka like button babe come and test please niambie how i've cooked karibu mimi ni lale umejekela ukafua Aibe. Mkula ama ni kuangalia? Tunaangalia. Tunakula ama tunaangalia? Tunaangalia bebe. Kukula ama kuangalia? Tunakula, tunaangalia. Unakula. Guys, huyu Tumemuita tu angalilia food, amekula. Na hivi pia ni kutaste. Nga nijipanya for cameras, ni kwa sawa, lakini, ni waja mi ni kule. So sweet. Na kwa sikaji? So sweet. Tanya? Kama nani? Wow. So guys, thank you so much for watching today's video and subscribe. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Vibe with One Boy. Now when you have to just subscribe, please subscribe. Now when you have to subscribe, do hit that notification bell. Alafu, pia uneza subscribe kwa my husband's channel, Kajim's Corner. Tukona content every Friday, the Moiros Pare live on Facebook, live on Facebook. On YouTube, live on Instagram. So guys, babe, tuambia pia wani subscribe ye. Tafadhali, 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 my friend, my friend, apo, subscribe, una subscribe, una like, una comment, una share. Yote, ukikuja hapo, by the way, kuto una content kia yetu ya The Moiros, tukio hapo kupale kwa ka James Corner. Sasa si nini ni kule? Wase. Thank you so much for watching today's video. As you can see, my husband am enjoy food. Kabisa tumepika poa, kabisa. And I can see behind my crew is here. Jonato, my producer. Thank you, thank you so much. And if you want to work with me, you want to partner with me, I have my email down here. You can communicate through it. And God bless you, do you good, and see you in the next video. Bye.